Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 5 Series DC gener Generation F10 F11 from year 2010 to year 2017. And if you have problems where the interior door handles are really sticky, nasty looking, falling apart, you have glue left on your hands when you open or close your door guys, stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that and how you can fix that problem in just a few minutes. It's not very expensive at all, it's actually super cheap. All that will be covered in this video today. If you need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. Another thing, every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that, guys? Simply because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos for you. Now, those are the door handles that we have here. That's the whole kit, absolutely whole kit, guys. So you can see driver side handle here with the window switch uh, thing. Passenger side, we have one for the uh, uh, two for the rear ones. Also, three window switches here as well. Passenger, rear left, rear right, and this one is for the driver side. So all that comes together as a kit. It's amazing quality, guys. It's uh, okay. You can see how nice, smooth it is. The camera has hard time <laughs> focusing on that dark. Uh, uh, surface but uh, let's go ahead and start on it and explain what we need to do so what do you need to do in order to remove the nasty sticky door handles check this thing out i hate them you actually guys have to go ahead and remove the door panel in order to do that so we'll go ahead explain how to do that now then we'll continue with the next step so first we need to remove okay that trim piece right here so with a plastic panel removal too if you need to buy some we'll put the link in the description of the video below we're going to come ahead come underneath okay and okay let's see to find the place okay where we can start prying okay you have a two tricky clips so make sure you stand till the end we'll explain what we're talking about okay here we have the light tube inside guys so we have to be extremely careful right here there is a light tube so you have to be extremely careful for that right here now there is okay one metal clip that you can actually see from top if you're guys looking at it so gently what you can do press that one i'll show you what i'm talking about in a second start pulling towards the back now you need to grab the whole thing and it needs to slide to the front when it comes out of all the clips and you slide it to the front okay like that this clip right here is the one that you need to slide this is the metal one that you need to reach and release guys this is the uh, plastic lightning tube and when you pry pry on this side and pry on top not on the bottom because this one is actually fragile and you can uh, you can easily easily damage that one guys now what do we have right here okay we have one bolt with torx 30 that we'll remove in a second right here now with the same plastic too okay we need to go ahead okay and pry the door handle cap so let me see how this one will come off it's a little bit stuck Okay, this one has a lightning tube too, so you have to be extremely careful, guys. So let me just see, okay, where else we have some clips. It's a little bit of a complicated design. You can see my hand right here okay this is guys okay from the door handles falling apart that we'll be fixing today so let me go ahead okay figure it out and we'll continue so we started from the back that's how it should be now there is one more clip kind of like right here so what i'm going to do i'll just grab it okay and try to pry too Use only plastic tools guys here because if you if you use other tools you can damage things quite a bit. 
Okay, I think it came loose. It looks like there is one clip right here. I can kind of see it. Okay, right there. Okay, this one does not have lightning element. It looks like it is, it's not. Okay, so don't freak out. Perfect. The clips, guys, okay, one clip right here that goes in that hole, one here, and one on the bottom. Three clips. Now, we need to get a torque sturdy, start looking big. We need to remove two screws now. It looks like that door handle, either I peeled it or I wasn't careful, it was peeling on the bottom. So, take your time, do not rest things because you can actually damage quite a few things on that BMW. Okay, one screw is out, second one on top. So you can see we have two of them so far. Perfect. Both of them are identical screws. Now, I don't think we have anything else holding. So I'll go ahead, start with the prime too. Okay, and see if we can get that panel loose. It could be really, really tight. I might need to get the bigger tools guys in action. Let me see because there is quite a few clips and those clips will be super tight. So let's go ahead, get the bigger tool. And still having hard time. like it's holding pretty good by the way I can feel one of the clips right here okay one came loose that's that's a plus once they start going they go guys the first one is the hardest to get then you can just do it by hand Okay, let's check here, because it looks like what could happen here. Okay, that mirror cover might, uh, might need to come out first. Let me see. Because we need to slide this panel up to come out of the lock, and we cannot slide it up without removing. the mirror cover okay let's see perfect we'll leave it here now we should be able to come up and come out and right here, we're going to explain where all the clips are. But let's go ahead now, okay, and explain, guys. Okay, there is a lightning element here. That's the light. It just reflects, okay, through the glass there. Now, that handle, guys, on the bottom, there is one too that we need to disconnect. Gently, not to break it. And then you pull up. Here we have all the wires that we need to uh, disconnect, including, okay, lightning wires and all other wires as well. But now let me show you where all the clips are located. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, if you have some of the rubber things stuck to the door, 
remove them, install them on the clip so you will not have vibrations later because okay it will be vibrating and it will be noisy that's why older cars that's been worked on usually have more vibrations you can see that's how we remove the door panel so now right here we have actually two screws it looks like guys okay two of them one uh, little one this is a torx 20 uh, let me go ahead okay remove that one now and then we have one that's uh, pretty big i think it's still for the door handle let's just verify that all right here now let me get the other okay the other two that i used earlier i think it's the same one torx 30 so we're going to go ahead okay and remove the big one too okay let's make sure we keep the we keep the camera in focus all right this one's out too now let's check what we have here specifically if we have anything else anywhere okay we have more right here on the bottom that big one talk sturdy guys again right here okay let me see if there is anything else here holding guys okay let's analyze now nope this one came out of here on the bottom we might have more so towards the back right here one little one that we have that's always a good thing to watch until the end so you know guys and you don't damage okay your car because sometimes there is hidden clips bolts screws and tricks that you may not know and everything's expensive nowadays you know like so easy to break as well everything's gently made perfect working on this one now and if i come on this side now okay looks like the window switch will come with it, with the handle so what we'll need to do we're going to replace it anyways uh, let me grab one small screwdriver guys okay because right here there is one clip for the wire there's one two that i need to kind of like pry a little bit so i can uh, get it out and there is one okay right here okay let's pull okay now right here there is one clip that you're going to press okay one on the back side and that switch will come out with the door handle i'll show you where the clips are located let me show you now looking at it this is the switch right here those are the two clips that you need to press out check out how nasty that thing is just hate it so let's go ahead continue with the next thing we're going to replace the window switch trim piece as well that it came with the kit so for the window switch guys now if you just need to replace the window switch okay you need to remove the door handle because right here there is one tooth okay and that tooth guys you need to okay let's just try to focus you need to pry to the outside okay like that and then it comes out and that's your window switch out of here guys you can see it just like that so we're going to replace the window switch trim piece as well that's the one okay right here guys so we're getting the uh, small knife be careful not to cut yourself we need to pry four clips now okay kind of like keep tension on the first one after it releases no this one went back in 
those are always tricky if it breaks we have a new one so just be careful not to break your window switch okay that's the thing that we need to worry about okay i'm holding it now here <laughs> it's like you need to get all four of them so we might need to get a second knife guys try to do all four of them at the same time because the time we release two on this side we have two more on the other side that we cannot get taken care of so okay now it's getting tighter but it came out that's your window switch <laughs> with all the food as well and all that stuff that fell in the door so now we're going to get a new one okay that matches no that's a wrong one that's a wrong kind oh no that's the right kind yeah 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 that, my bad so now we're going to go ahead okay push it in now so align everything really good push it in perfect that's it now the door handle guys okay let's go ahead do that one so this is the door handle that we have here and i'm just looking at it we have multiple clips one two three four five six seven eight nine clips guys so those clips somehow okay need to come out so i'll get a screwdriver quick okay let me grab a screwdriver so we can pry or plastic panel too as well one of the two so you don't damage your outside door handle so let me see now it looks like it's pretty tight my hands turn really bad guys from all that nastiness right here check it out now i'm gonna wipe my hands before we continue i wipe, I wipe that piece here too because there is quite a bit of black stuff as well so now okay that's i think the wrong one let me see which one we need guys we should have two right ones and one left for the rear so i'm going to go ahead okay install it now just press it in close it okay this is guys practically like a brand new handle uh, check how nice looking that thing is so the new handle now okay it's right here i need to just position everything really good push it in get it in place right okay it's getting in now i need to on the back side install guys okay the wiring harness okay for the window switch and the handle came out so i'll recommend to actually go ahead and install the screws now so <laughs> that's what i'll be doing next have the big screw here as a torque sturdy and we have one big on the bottom and one little one on top one little on bottom so let me flip the two quick okay perfect let's get those tied great one more right there big one we're going to inspect everything to make sure that it's good Okay, let me. Okay, nothing. Something's not right here. Okay, it came out. Okay, and the window switch didn't go in. It'll be more convenient if you disconnect your cables, guys. I did not, 
so I need to go ahead and reposition everything again. I guess when I try to connect the window switch cable, what happened at that point, I practically, guys, okay, pushed it sideways, so. So let me go ahead, okay, push it in nice. All right, that's it, right there. Now I need to come on the inside, right now. Okay, and I need to hold the thing to you. Make sure you don't cross thread those two. Sometimes they may get in between the handle and the panel. Okay, now I need to get the other, okay, the other socket that, by the way, I dropped somewhere. So let me see where I went and we'll continue in a second. Okay, that's a little socket. Two screws now, little ones that we need to install. One on top, one on the bottom. And we'll see how the door handle will look right after that one. One more by the window switch so it keeps everything nice tight. Okay, one of the wires came loose. I'm almost ready, guys. Those are pretty long screws. All right. Now, let's see what it looks like. Looks like a brand new door handle again. Not sticky, nice and clean. So, you can see, guys. Okay, that's how you do it on a BMW. Uh, 5 series if you have any questions let us know hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching uh, now the rear ones are exactly the same way the driver's side is a little bit different but we have a special video about that one as well thank you for watching and see you next time